The city of Dallas is planning to buy a grocery store in southern Dallas that it has already given millions of dollars to. Some council members now questioning this plan. Fox 4's Lori Brown joining us with the story. Lori. Heather, the city of Dallas already gave the operator of the Save-A-Lot $2.8 million as an economic incentive to open in the Highland Hills area where there are a few other options for fresh, healthy food. But apparently there's just not enough business for the grocery store to survive. Is that the same store that we put a ton of economic development money in to get them down there in the first place? And why would we become the owner of a grocery store? It's a reasonable question. Why would the city of Dallas plan to buy a grocery store? The proposal to buy this Save-A-Lot grocery was tucked away in a large agenda item focused on how to provide more social service resources that in turn would help reduce crime. Dr. Eric Johnson, the head of economic development in Dallas, explained the rationale. When we look at um, let me say it this way, challenging economics in some of these communities, it's, uh, it's tough around the performance of grocery stores. And um, I would venture to say that um, the ownership going into this scenario uh, really started being faced with some unintended consequences. The store opened in October 2016 after getting a $2.8 million grant from the city. And I remember with great fanfare when it opened up and I was personally very excited to see fresh food and, and, and there and I, I'm sorry that it's not working. The terms of the grant required it to operate until at least 2026. So why are we not holding them to that? Uh, they're losing money at this point and, and not able to stay open for the full terms. Dr. Johnson said the city would work to recoup grant money through the purchase price. I'm not sure that buying a grocery store is the answer. We won't be in the business of uh, operating a grocery store. Dr. Johnson said the city would partner with area food banks to service neighborhoods that lack fresh grocery options, so-called food deserts. We'll be partnering with um, a collective of organizations that will basically run a sort of different type of model. So it's sort of a stopgap measure through the acquisition, but working with a series of community partners. The city's plans for the grocery store are still vague, but according to the presentation, the city would partner with area nonprofits to provide grocery pickup as well as delivery options. Heather. All right, Lori Brown, thank you.